Spotify for Podcasters is a podcast hosting site, which means that it will take your podcast audio and distribute it to places like Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, and Spotify. But you can also create a podcast using the platform. You can use the tools on the website or on the app to create an audio-only podcast by either uploading pre-recorded audio to the platform or by recording it directly on the platform using the recorder. But the capabilities of editing on Spotify for Podcasters is limited, and you aren't able to record video for your podcast, which is key to creating engaging content for your listeners. So I'm going to show you a faster way to easily record, fully edit, and upload your video podcast or audio podcast directly to Spotify. Riverside is an online recording and editing software that has a direct integration with Spotify for Podcasters. With your Riverside account, you can record, edit, and publish your podcast to Spotify in just a few clicks. Throughout this video, we're going to see just how many mouse clicks it takes me to completely create and upload a video podcast to Spotify. Create an account on Riverside and log in. I've already logged in, so that saves a click for me. Create a new studio for your podcast. Name your studio. Here you can decide if you will record audio and video or audio only. I'm going to keep it at audio and video, mostly to save myself a mouse click. Enter the studio. On this page, you can select what equipment you'd like to use. I want to use my iPhone camera using continuity camera between my iPhone and my Mac. So I'm going to select from the drop down menu, Bridget's iPhone camera. I also want to use my AT2020 USB mic. So I'm going to select that from the drop down menu as well. And of course, you want to wear headphones, which we always recommend doing during recording. So I will select external headphones from the drop down menu. I press I am using headphones and join studio. Now you're ready to record. If you want to invite somebody to join your podcast, you can copy this link right here and send it to them. I'm going to do a solo podcast for this recording to save myself the clicks. Now in the studio, you have lots of options. You can add a script so that you're still looking at the camera while you're reading off a script during your recording. You can use the media board to add in your intro or your outro or music throughout the recording. You can share your screen or use the presentation recorder to present things throughout your recording. All of these tools are available for you in the Riverside Studio, and you can head to the link above to learn more about how to use these features. I'm going to bare bones this episode to save myself the clicks, but the good thing is, is that you can use as many clicks as you'd like. So I'll press record. Now, when you're recording your full podcast episode, you want to make sure that you plan it ahead of time. This is going to keep you on track throughout the recording and make sure that your recording doesn't last too long. I'm going to link a video above that will teach you everything you need to know to prepare for a podcast recording. It will teach you things like researching your target audience, coming up with a podcast name and cover image, a podcast description, producing a trailer, finding your intro music, as well as planning and producing your first episodes. It's everything you need to know to prepare for a podcast recording. Now to save myself a click in post-production, I'm going to record my outro during the recording of my episode. So thanks for listening to my rambling about how to create a video podcast if you liked this episode, make sure to share it with a friend. And of course, follow the show on your favorite streaming platform, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Spotify, whatever it may be, to be notified of new episodes and when they are uploaded. We release a new one every Monday, and we'll see you next time. When you're done your episode, click stop. Once your recording is uploaded, you can view recordings. It will take a few minutes to upload in process. Once it has, head into the editor. There are a ton of things that you can do in the editor. For a full walkthrough, you can head to the video linked above. You can take out pieces of your episode by trimming along the timeline or deleting words out of the text-based editor. I'm not going to waste my clicks on that. Instead, I'm going to use the magic tools to remove all silences from my recording. And here you can add your intro to the episode. I've already uploaded mine, so it's ready to place right in the episode with just one click. You can select what tracks you would like to include in the final recording. If you want your podcast to be audio only, you'll have the option here to select use audio only. You can also decide on the layout of the frame. You can add a background, which I'm going to not do right now because I'm going to save myself the clicks. I want to use that click on using captions. So here you can select what captions you'd like to use. These captions will be generated from the transcript. You can also add a logo. I'm going to keep it simple and just add captions to my episode. When your episode is ready, head to export. I'm going to export it in the standard settings to save myself the clicks, but you can export in up to 4K quality depending on your camera capabilities. You can head back to the recording page. 
You'll see your exported podcast here, and when it's ready, it will say exported. On this page, you can upload directly to Spotify. This will bring you to Spotify for podcasters. If you aren't logged in or don't have an account, at this point, Spotify will walk you through the process of setting that up. Because I'm already logged in, it will save me a few clicks. It will make me confirm that this is the podcast that I'd like to upload to. As it uploads, you can add your episode title, your show notes, you can select your publish date. I'm going to leave it to right now to save myself the clicks. You can add polls and Q&As to encourage engagement on your episodes. And of course, you can customize the episode with your season number, episode number, the episode type. I'm going to leave this at full and the content, which I am going to leave at clean. Now I'm going to press publish now and boom, my episode is on Spotify. It's as easy as that. In just a few clicks, you can have a video podcast ready on Spotify for your audience. Here's what my video podcast looks like. Thanks for listening to my rambling about how to create a video podcast. If you liked this episode, make sure to share it with a friend. And of course, follow the show on your favorite streaming platform, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Spotify, whatever it may be, to be notified of new episodes and when they are uploaded. We release a new one every Monday, and we'll see you next time. If you liked this video, make sure to hit that thumbs up button. And before you go, subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon so you never miss another video from Riverside. Thanks for watching this one. My name is Bridget, and I'll see you in our next one.